G'day folks, Scott here. Today, I am reviewing Annabelle Creation. Annabelle Creation is a prequel to 2014's Annabelle, which was a spin-off from 2013's The Conjuring. The problem with Annabelle in 2014, apart from the fact that it was a giant piece of shit, was that if you've got a 10 minute or less sequence at the beginning of The Conjuring based on the doll Annabelle, and your feature length movie is worse than that 10 minute sequence, you fucked up. And they did. That movie was poorly paced, it was poorly written, it was uninteresting, there was no tension. All the scenes attempting to be tense were actually quite boring. I actually watched that movie again this week because it's been a few years since it came out. I couldn't literally remember any of it, so I watched it again in the lead up to going and seeing the new movie this week. And even on my second viewing, I was like, I don't remember any of this. This is boring. I spent half the movie on my phone. It is awful. So the only reason I really wanted to go see Annabelle Creation at the cinema, apart from the fact that, you know, I really try and force myself to go see most horror movies at the cinema just so that they're getting sales and that people are going because, you know, if people don't go see these things, they're not going to keep putting them in the movies. They're just going to go back to the 80s with a directed video again. So I was pretty, pretty cautious about this movie. Um, as always, I don't watch trailers. I knew nothing about it. I hadn't seen anything, but I had heard a lot of positive hype. I generally am pretty cautious when it comes to positive hype about horror movies because my love of horror movies isn't necessarily the same as the mainstream media's love of horror movies or lack thereof. So, you know, I was still pretty cautious about it. Anyway, my wife and I and uh, three of our friends went and saw this movie last night. It was a pretty good sized crowd we saw it with, which really helped with the movie, I feel. Like seeing a horror movie that works pretty well with a good crowd um, is it, a pretty good experience. The movie was pretty good. Actually, I would say it was good. Um, probably the negatives first. <clears throat> Not so much a negative, but this doesn't do anything you haven't already seen a hundred times over in other horror movies. Uh, it's predictable. You know, you can see everything coming. You know everything's going to happen. Unfortunately, it falls into those same misgivings that most other modern horror movies have with this whole just fixation on jump scares and having audio cues to try and create a scare for something that wasn't there. Now, this doesn't do it as much as some other films, but it still did it more than I would have liked, and I find that irritating. This movie already had pretty good tension. What it did much, much better than the previous one was it was way better written. It told a much better story. It had better sets. It was way better shot. The cinema photography was much more interesting. The choice of camera angles was much more interesting. I won't go into spoilers outside of anything that would have been in trailers and whatnot, but this being a prequel to the previous Annabelle movie and being about the creation of the Annabelle doll, a set in a farmhouse, not too dissimilar from The Conjuring, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, actually two Australian actors are the sort of main two couple in this, being uh, Anthony, Lepag Anthony Lepaglia and uh, Maranta Otto. Uh, it was cool to see them together in the film, they were both fine, and they're a couple who lived in this house, like, and he was a doll maker, and his dolls were very, very popular, and of course he invented the Annabelle dolls, which were a limited edition run, and, uh, you know, they had a daughter and something happens. And of course they have no daughter and the movie goes on from there. Years and years and years later, they have a bunch of orphans and a nun come to this house to live because the house has been empty for so long and it's just them. And they figured it might, you know, revitalize their marriage and bring some, you know, happiness back to the home and whatnot. And of course that gives us a whole bunch of children for fucked up shit to happen to, to, you know, get the movie up and running. This borrowed a lot from The Conjuring from the original, you know, James Wan Conjuring, um, he made both, but, and I'm not saying that in a negative way, what The Conjuring got right for me as a film goer was, you know, apart from a few unnecessary jump scares, it had that 70s, 80s kind of, well, no, more so 70s vibe where it took a long time building character at the beginning of the film, it really introduced you to everybody, it had interesting, you know, place for the events of the film to take place in. It was well shot. It was clearly made by people who were into what they were making and that showed on film. Obviously having children involved around supernatural occurrences and stuff is you know, a good formula if it's done well and if the child actors do a pretty good job of it. Um, and that's what really worked in The Conjuring for me. And that same formula was used in Annabelle creation. 
Um, it wasn't like a rip off and I didn't get mad about the fact, but I felt the whole way through the movie, I was like, you know, I can just feel how the conjuring actually impacted this. And I think that's in a good way, considering these movies are a spin off from the conjuring series. You may as well be faithful to the source material that you're getting it from. And they did a much, much better job of it this time. Um, you know, that, that was, like I said, it was well shot. There were some really cool sequences. There were some very predictable sequences, like I said. Like a lot of times, you knew something was going to happen when it was going to go, when it was going to happen. Uh, there weren't really any surprises in it. The story was interesting enough and it told itself the right way through. Um, there was one really fantastically shot and executed sequence involving a small kid and a bunk bed, which was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. And although the piece of shit previous Annabelle movie didn't deserve it, the people who wrote this did a wonderful job of attaching this movie to the movie that comes after it. That was written in very, very well. I won't spoil how that happens, but I was most of the way through this movie. I'm like, oh, hang on. I just watched the other one this week and I don't get where you're going with this. And how are you going to attach it to that one? That one had clear things that it set up and how are you going to get there? And they did a great job of it. And I was really impressed with it at the end. Um, it wasn't a great movie, but it was a good movie. And it was way better than the previous one. It wasn't as good as The Conjuring, but it's definitely worth seeing in a cinema. Also seeing it in a cinema, which I think made me enjoy the movie a lot more than perhaps I would have had I've watched it at home, was, you know, the cinema was probably, I don't know, three quarters full. There was a lot of people in there. And there were people who were shitting their pants. There was people behind us, like girls who were literally whimpering. You know, getting that, that tension in the audience when things were going to happen, even though, you know, me as a film goer and a horror fan was like, yep, I can see this coming a mile away, even though nothing's going to jump out or nothing's going to happen now when you're establishing this thing early in the movie. I know that thing is going to become a set piece later on where something else is going to happen. And that's a very predictable tangent that happens throughout the story, but people were still shitting themselves. People were talking back to the screen a little bit, but mainly it was just like people like, oh my God. And literally the, the whimpering women was hilarious. That really, really, really added to my enjoyment. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. I don't want to go into the story for it. I really think if you like horror movies and if you like the Conjuring movies, you should see this at the cinema. It deserves your money. It was good. It was fun. Uh, it was well done. And I'm happy that I didn't hate it. So next week, I'm going to go see The Dark Tower. The week after that is uh, the remastering 3D release of Terminator 2, which is going to be great. Got It coming up in September. Um, you know, if, with It coming up, that's, and, and even this Annabelle movie, it's a good time for sort of mainstream horror movies. Again, no trailers. I don't know anything about It other than I've seen pictures of the guy, um, Bill Skarsgård, playing Pennywise. And, you know, I, I don't mind the design for where they've gone with this, but... I'm highly anticipating this movie. I'm very looking forward to it. So I'll be back to review all of that stuff really soon. As always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you enjoy my work, please do so with the button up there or just go back to my channel and press subscribe. And I'll see you again really soon. Thanks, folks.